Okay, so hello again. I guess uh, if someone can volunteer and talk about uh, any about anything, it would be nice. Questions, progress. Or should I just call in? You are on the street, so you can just volunteer and we can. Okay, one, well, thank you. Okay, hello everyone. So, uh, the progress for this week, this week has been tough. Okay, not, has been tough outside, not inside Terra Academy. I have been out and in. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping by next week everything will settle. Uh, the progress on the project is at least this week has been better than last week. This week content is understandable. Yeah, I think I I can see that I am progressing and doing something as compared to last week where I was totally black. I was seeing darkness everywhere. Yeah, that is my progress for this week. Yes, okay, thank you, Yvonne. I'm glad this week is a little bit better. Uh, I think last week project was really new for most of you, so that's why it was a bit hard. Uh, so I'm glad this week is better, anyway. Uh, okay, anyone who can share us their progress? Okay, Melat, if you can unmute, you can. Okay, I think you write something here. Okay. I think so for my progress, uh, uh, I was trying to understand most of the concepts, like what the meaning of RAG is, uh, how do we generate them, how do we automatically generate the prompts and stuff. I guess I have understood it, but overall for the uh, project and bigger picture. I, I, I thought we were supposed to design a front end that the user can chat with our LLM, I mean, gen generally, but um, I, I don't think that's the case. So I, I think we're supposed to uh, design a UI that the user enters a prompt and then we will return a better prompt that is from the user's input, I guess. That's my understanding from today's sessions. Um, and as for today's submission, I have created my GitHub repo. I was trying to load the data uh, as for yesterday's session with Ahmed. Uh, and I haven't even started writing the document yet, though I think I can make it because I have, you know, structured it in my mind, I guess. So, so far, this is my progress, and I, I would really appreciate it if you could, you know, make it a bit clear, clear, um, based on my understanding. So, thank you, Mila. So, uh, Magdas, if you share, I, I see I have seen your text, I just want to see uh, where you are, your progress, if you could share me. Okay, I think. I was able to understand what RAG means, but what confuses me is that how the user can pass the context so that, uh, and also the how the user expect the output, because if the user interact with the, like the front end, I think it just went to an answer. So how do they expect an output? I don't get what, uh, how the user can pass the, top, the context and also the, the expected outputs. Okay, thank you, Magnus. Miron, if you can share me your progress. Okay, hello. Hello. Uh, I was trying to read uh, the documents given. Uh, now I have understanding about RAG, uh, its component and prompt engineering. Uh, and 
the challenge to maybe how to implement uh, in the code base, uh, how to integrate the back end, the front end, and so on. Uh, maybe uh, we will expect it. We will expect uh, uh, more clarify from you guys. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, uh, if anyone could answer, especially on the whole concept, uh, you want if I can. Yeah, thank you. You want if you can go. Yeah. Especially. So. Let me let me try to answer who is it Mercedes who says that she doesn't understand the context. So yeah. when so you you are not the one who is passing the context to the AI to make it to answer. The, the AI uses something called cosine similarity to check the context to check the context according to the document that you have given. Let me give this example. For example, you are talking about dogs. You have a document talking about dogs. It has four legs, it has two eyes. And then you have, in that document, you have another animal called a spider. It has eight legs and it has, is it eight eyes or four eyes? I don't know. Yeah, so when a user asks, how many eyes does a spider have? The, the statement will be passed to the rug. After it has been passed to the rug, the rug will use cosine similarity to check on the context and see this is about animals and this is about spider and spider matches. So if spider and spider matches, it will take the information about the spider and output to the user. Have I answered your question? Make this make uh, clarity <laughs> pardon uh, I mean to say kind of on the chat kind of okay so uh, let me try to explain it again so i will okay i will look for a link and send you the link especially of a video explaining what i'm saying because sometimes the pdf the documents you read are not that clear but um you 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 are just supposed yeah i, I think uh, uh magnet's confused about your bubble site i think you misunderstood him on the on the way he explained explain it so the only thing that's expected from the user is to pass some kind of question but you have to figure out on the back end the context part and how you generate the answers too yes as a user you cannot do the context yes <clears throat> sorry you i think with this, oh, i'm sorry guys so i think Margaret was trying to say how is the user supposed to pass the context to the uh to our code so uh if i'm not mistaken am i correct Magdis? so if you're asking this question uh the context is basically the data you give to the LLM as the augmented data is the context and it will, uh, like you once said, compare the user's input uh, with the data you gave it and, you know, return if it's um, similar to one another or not. Okay, make this, let me use this example of chat GPT. For now, you don't go to chat GPT and tell it Give, uh, let's say you ask a question about rain. You don't go to chat GPT and tell the chat GPT, this question is about rain. Give me answers about rain. You just ask your question and then chat GPT answers about rain. So in your when you create your rug, keep in mind chat, I am not telling you to create your rug like chat GPT, but Keep in mind it's a system like ChatGPT. You see the way ChatGPT works, you ask it a question and it answers, but it's supposed to be better than ChatGPT because it uses a source database or it uses, yes, a source or a knowledge base to get the information. So how ChatGPT is, for, easy, for you to easily understand, just know how ChatGPT is, is how you are 
rag is supposed to work but now it is supposed to give prompts and do what the challenge has told us to do yeah Is that clear? Uh, yes, kind of, kind of, yes. You load the data in the source database, you convert it to vectors, and then you create a rag now. You find a way to retrieve, you find a way to in the back end, not in the front end, in the back end, you find a way to create the cosine similarity in the back end, not in the front end. So guys, are we done with the session or is the Tenix team there? Hello? I thought I thought my network was down, that's why like um, there was no sound, but uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, um, suppose maybe Rahmat is the one who um, dropped. Maybe I don't know. What she, maybe he's having some issues. Uh, so, who was uh, was asking a question or 
was there someone who was like asked a question and didn't get an answer or something? I'm 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 asking this because I dropped out of the call for a bit. So I'm kind of I don't know where um where you stopped. We just updated our progress and uh, Yvonne was explaining some ideas to us or to Magdessa's question. Mm -hmm. So that was just it. Okay. Uh, so anyone who wants to say something else or wants to ask something else? I actually asked a question about the general objective of our, I mean, the bigger picture of the project, but if you guys could explain it, that would be nice. Uh, the bigger picture, oh, yeah. Could, um, tell us about the workflow of the project, that would also be nice. I mean, um, okay so have you like have you attended the like the discussion that was led by yababal earlier today i did but my connection was weak so i didn't really get the full content i see so uh uh let me see if okay uh so um this one minute I am going to like I'm going to use um uh right so like this diagram that I have about um draw earlier in that session uh So we have it somewhere here. Okay. Um, okay, so something funny is happening. Um, uh, okay. Sorry, my computer is slow, so um you should okay finally all right so you see this you'll see my screen I suppose right any yes yes okay. so yeah so this is this is a diagram that uh yeah we were explaining earlier so uh, you can see that there are like three components and kind of two or three services that you need to to create basically so uh, the three components um, we are going to use our automatic prompt uh, generation the automatic data generation or that um, evaluation data uh, generation and prompt ranking and these are you're going to use those in creating three services or originally two prompt analysis service and prompt generation um sorry so uh from ranking wasn't 
um, I don't know, seems like, uh, yeah, from generation, sorry, from generation, from uh, analysis service. Okay. So, uh, I like, um, okay, so, I mean, do you, do you understand like uh, what is what are these concepts or what are these components? I mean, let alone the services that you're going to create. But um, do you understand at least to some extent these three components? I mean, the last. Uh, sorry. So, yeah, I'm expecting some kind of a reaction from you or an answer from you. Uh, yes, I do understand the concepts to some extent, as we said. Okay, so uh, is it the services that you want to uh, to to know what you are supposed to create? Um, it's more like the bigger picture. I mean, you can just tell me that you're supposed to create a UI that does this and uh, um, that accepts the user inputs in such a way, and then you're supposed to do. Uh, accept you're supposed to accept the user's input and then processes it and then do this and do that and return something to it so i was expecting you to explain it in in such manners i guess okay so yeah so the services basically yes you're going to create a ui user interface for these two services um okay uh, so the prompt analysis this is the one that uh yeah well, i'll give an example for okay you ask uh, um yeah, like here like the example like you're going to uh your user interface you're going to create a user interface for this like you ask your you the user or the back end oh, okay uh, you ask the user for input ask them the type of questions they want to ask uh and the type of cons uh, context they want to have and the output they expect to get so like um uh so you 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 did this input from the user basically the kind of prompts they want to like the kind of questions they want to ask to the llm and the context they will provide the type of that and the expected output and then uh you're going to give them um prompts basically that uh like uh, like you're gonna yes you have to use a prompt generation and evaluate your prompts basically and uh, tell them like you can use these kind of prompts to get uh, um what you want this is what the users have so for example Give it a use example. Say like uh, is it, your user said like I want to. My data source is going to be like the Ten Academy Challenge, the challenge documents. The questions, uh, my prompts are going to be a Q and Q and A. And uh, the desired outcome is like high precision answer when the context uh, has the information about. So you want it like the user or your user like wants to say like I'm going to the context I'm giving you is the challenge document uh, uh, and like the prompts or my kind of my uh, my prompts are going to be questions question on what I want is question and answers and the answer should be like high precision from from when the question follows falls within the context within the challenge document so if the um front end user so like there are two types of users as, as we said like the end user when they enter like questions about things that in the, the channel document the, my, the llm should give them like precise answers otherwise it shouldn't answer and uh, and then you have to create prompts to achieve this basically um so you generate the prompts and then you evaluate them with the, with the, like with the desired metrics here what you want is like higher at high accuracy and um for example yeah so i mean it does this uh i mean i don't know if you like i'm, I'm just i'm just uh, like repeating what you have did before so is this does this clarify in any way or is it where exactly are you confused 
כן, היא טוב. Okay, I'm waiting for a response of some of some sort. So we would we would be create three user interface for three service or what? That is uh, well okay so uh, yes yeah yeah well added it too but uh, added it the the last one but I mean you can just if you create one is enough I mean you can create a one user interface that can do both basically um uh for um like in one in one case uh like uh, maybe your user comes with a prompt or some uh, like a, a list of prompts and then you analyze them for, for um, like your your service should analyze them uh, basically using the uh, create a, um, a data evaluation data evaluation uh, uh, sorry an evaluation data data set and you carry out the like evaluation for for these prompts and just return that for the user and uh, and this uh, like a full let's say it's a full service. Uh, the one that will create actually the prompt. You're going to create the prompt and you evaluate them uh, according to what the, the user input is. So, I mean, in the end, maybe you can have just one UI. It's just like uh, you, you do these two things, which are like one is just part of the other. Um, uh, generate data for evaluation. This is also like uh, something that you already do in the back end, basically. In the, um, this is something already you're you're already doing. You can just like add that option, also. Um, but I mean, is the uh, like overall goal, or at least uh, I mean, at, you should at least by this time understand like the concept involved and start like like developing some of these uh, the codes for some of these basically. Uh, by now, is this is this is my like? Does this clarify to you? What what does this answer your question? Yes, the main purpose okay. is uh, give prompt for the user. Uh, yes. Uh yeah one uh, yes one, uh, yes in in the main thing yes is to create like the. The prompts um, for the user for the for the user yes that's exactly it that that achieves like the the desired um, output um, so including the context and stuff so yes um, yeah the, the main end is uh, um, what you're saying is that is correct yes. Okay. All right. Um, any other questions or like something not clear? We just should clarify. Mm. Uh, I think that anything should stop. Yeah, so anyone has something to say? Or like, um, are you satisfied with it? Uh, should we end the session? I mean, you guys have a submission later on, so. Uh, let's see how many people are here. Um, so yeah, so let's see, let me ask three people. So, um, 
uh, Meron, is everything clear for you? Like, um, do you have any question? Do you need some clarification more? Yes, like a, a thumbs up would be fine. Um, like, I just, oh, I just want a response from you guys. Okay. Um, Melat is fine. Uh, okay, Meron is also fine. Ikram, suppose you're... Uh, okay, so Ikram has a question. Uh, uh so it's it's general so basically uh, i mean business is specific yeah so the implementation should be general enough that you are expecting some kind of input from the business user like or um the back end user uh um as it was called basically earlier um uh, so it it should be general, but if you want, uh, you can create like for your own. You can create like um, I mean, you can try with some spe uh, specific like business. Um, I mean, you can use uh, like you can like um, just like the example we used before, like uh, take the uh, ten academy challenge uh, document challenge document and. Uh, say like i want to like exactly this uh, test case that we, are, we the example that was given by Abel earlier you can try this one in your implementation and see if it works um and then yes uh, but the end the product that you should have it should be general is this uh, does this answer your question yeah but like um, uh, like you answered my question but like further uh if it's kind of kind of like general, we need an authentication, like a profile for the user and other stuffs. Is that so? Like, uh, since the user need to come and need to fit the data source of its specific need, and then he yeah. needs to ask. So, like, we need to keep that data source specific for the user. So we need to have an authentication, and so blah blah. Like the general ways, we'll have a lot of stuffs to handle the security of the user uh, is that right like my understanding is that right i mean yes if you want to create something that is like uh, <laughs> uh at the like ready for being to be deployed and used then yes you have to worry about this stuff i i, I like what how you're thinking about it but uh, for now i think for this project for this week uh, you don't have to worry about all of like um, this extra like uh, usability um um uh like issues like uh i mean authenticate and and make it secure and make it like the maybe the user interface super nice <laughs> um you, you don't have to worry about this i think for now just work on like this back end uh stuff we talked with like the things we talked about and then um maybe you can just assume that like yeah i'm getting the the data like i'm securing it whatever so i don't think you have to worry about it. so like uh, what i'm going to do is i will select a business specific data source and i will feed the like my rug or chatbot so like they use uh and i will come and ask him so that uh in the back end like the whole process of like pro from generating and then evaluation and uh other like the backing process will help is that the case like i mean i'm just saying like uh wh the, what you create what you're going to create the end project product you're going to create by the end of this week should be general enough that it can take uh, uh like data like for context and um and and generate prompts evaluate them and um and return like uh, the like I mean uh, maybe a um, set of prompts that are 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 like with the evaluation metrics for them, um, for for the for the user. But it it should be able to take um, um, whatever that is, whatever that is, I think. 
uh, but I'm just, I'm just saying that while you're developing it, you can use a specific case with a specific uh, data for context and, and, and like basically you're testing what you're creating, basically. Um, just to make it uh, simpler in the beginning, maybe. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, uh, any more questions or otherwise um, we can end this session I think uh, we can stop the recording I um,